Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're talking about the methods used to establish authoritarian states, use of force. Uh, now, as a refresher, methods means an action committed by either a person or persons as a way to accomplish a goal. So the method we're focusing on today is the use of force, the means of making someone comply or overcome resistance to what you want to have in order to protect life, property, or to take a person into custody, right? Force is using uh, any sort of action, this can be verbal, uh, nonverbal, this can be physical, non-physical, uh, to get somebody to comply or to overcome someone's resistance. Uh, today, we're talking about two specific groups. We're talking about the SA, and we're talking about the Beer Hall Push or the Munich Push. Now, uh, these two examples are going to show an interlock with each other on just how much force Hitler and the Nazi party used in order to grow and to gain. Now, the first group, the SA, the Sturm Albrecht Tung, they uh, were actually a former specialized assault troops from World War I. They pre they uh, pre-exist the Nazi party. They uh, were specialized forces within the war. And... Uh, after the war and they signed the Treaty of Versailles, the SA were cut from the military, being that the Treaty of Versailles demands only 100,000 troops. However, this did not stop the SA from still existing. They just became uh, members of like the Freik Corp, or they became members of their own uh, individualized groupings. All of which tying into the larger uh, group of the SA. Now... A lot of these SA members started to grow and spread out into political groups. Some of them were with the SDP, some of them with the uh, German Workers' Party, and then eventually uh, some of them joined the Nazi Party. In fact, large swaths of them joined in 1920. And they joined in 1920 because this is the first time, the first meeting that the Nazis had uh, where Hitler came up and uh, multiple other Nazi members came up to give large swooping speeches. And this is where uh, Goebbels heard Hitler speak. This is where um, Hitler's best friend, Ernest Rahm, starts really looking at the Nazi party and saying, all right, this isn't just like my friend's group. This isn't just like my friend's political party. These guys really have it in them to lead. And so... Ernest Rahm, being a member of the SA, in fact, being one of the generals, one of the lieutenants, one of the high-ranking members of the SA, starts tapping into some of the, his own troops and his own soldiers and saying, hey, guys, you really might want to consider joining the SA. Or not joining the SA, joining the Nazi party. And so they do. They start joining in more and more of the Nazi party. Now, when they do you start to see this symbol everywhere with the Nazis because at its core, these guys are both members and bodyguards. They are the, the protectors of the Nazis, but also the ones they would use force with. So if something happened, like you came to, to interrupt uh, a speech by Hitler or you tried to drown Hitler out with, you know, loud sounds or megaphones or thing or megaphones that exist at the time, but uh, the principle is still the same. You try to drown out the Nazi message. Yeah, the essay would come to you, and if you were lucky, you would just be beaten up and hospitalized. If you were unlucky, you were killed, just flat out stabbed. Uh, in fact, in 1922, there were some essay members who were protecting a speech Hitler was giving and members of the KDP, the communist party were banging on the tables, trying to um, drown out Hitler's speech. They were trying to interrupt as much as possible. So a couple of these SA members, as well as with the SS, wh whom you will hear about later, um, picked up these guys, beat them up in the middle of the bar and then threw them out, except for the leader. The leader was taken, severely beaten even further, and then thrown down three flights of stairs. 
and well died this was the stories this is the rumors this is the the whispers you would hear of just how strong the nazi party is getting and between 22 and the Ruhr crisis in 23 they start really really becoming bigger and bigger and bigger and specifically in 1923 there is an event that we're going to talk about the beer hall pushed in this video where the SA members make their face they make their uh presence known not only to all of germany but actually internationally and all of this is taking place during the economic uh struggle where germany is drowning right this is all of that's going to take place um during the Ruhr crisis now because ernest rom was a friend of hitler and because ernest rom was a leader of the of uh the sa outside of the nazis when he joined the nazi party in 22 uh, hitler specifically says hey i need you to be in charge of these guys be in charge of their brutality and so he does he immediately takes them in and says all right soldiers this is what we're going to do this is how we're going to act this is the uniform we're going to we're going to wear um the they were affectionately known as the brown shirts because they would wear full khaki uniforms um brown khaki uniforms and he would lead these soldiers um to be the most brutal fervent bodyguards for the nazi party and after the beer hall pushed as we're gonna hear about in just a few seconds we're gonna see that rom is gonna come back and uh really fix up the sa to make them even more lethal to make them even more brutal uh towards civilians and the public so we've danced around it we've talked about it let's actually get into it so the beer hall pushed now the beer hall pushed uh to translate pushed in german in english translates to revolution or rebellion so at the height of the Ruhr crisis, November 8th and 9th of 1923, the height of the hyperinflation of the Ruhr crisis, where one US dollar was equal to 4.1 trillion German dollars, German gold marks. Hitler and all these gentlemen you see here decide to get together and overthrow the government. Uh, and they were inspired by their next door neighbor Mussolini who was also a fascist but they were inspired by him coming to power that hey we need to overthrow our country because they do not want to let us come in now if you notice this lasts a day two days um and that's because well quite frankly <laughs> Hitler drank too much and his party members drank too much and on the night of November 8th, took to the streets. And between the eighth, the night of the 8th and the day of the 9th, there was armed shootouts. There was deaths. There was assaults. There was occupation of military buildings by Ernest Rahm and his SA. And the, the militant wing, the SA that we just finished learning about, was hitting the streets with rifles, guns, tank uh, not tanks but modified world war one uh war level munitions and uh vehicles and ultimately the fright corp and other groups even the the communist groups came together to help the weimar government stop hitler in his tracks stop the nazi party in their tracks and on november 9th Hitler, Rom, Goebbels, Himmler, Hess, and a couple of other uh, Nazi members were arrested and um, put on trial. In this trial, Hitler starts preaching and yelling and, and getting really motivational. And Hitler takes this opportunity of him being on trial 
not to plead his innocence, but to use it as a form of propaganda and use it as a stepping point for other members of the Nazi party to motivate and encourage people to, to join them. However, because the, the revolution failed, because a lot of people uh, were killed, I believe it was like 2,000 people were killed, 2,000 civilians. Um, Hitler was charged with five years imprisonment. Uh, he had the most severe punishment. Uh, Goebbels was charged, but they told him he's not going to serve any jail time. Rom was charged, but he also wasn't going to serve any jail time. The SA was made uh, illegal as an organization. Uh, the Nazi party was made illegal. Um, but this illegality of the Nazi party in the SA lasted six months. Uh, Hitler's five-year imprisonment was shortened to six months. Uh, but the effects still left lasting issues. The Nazi party lost so many votes. They went from their height of uh, 12%, 13% to 2% of popular votes. Um, and in, in this imprisonment, in this issue, Hitler was essentially made fun of by every other political pundit out there. Anybody who had anything to speak about German politics, pretty much Hitler became the joke of the matter. And Hitler used his time, used his jail time to sit and write. And all of the writing that he does from the Beer Hall Push ends up becoming Mein Kampf, his seminal piece of propaganda that we will see. And that's the only propaganda that we're really going to focus on in preceding videos. So why are we focusing on a failed rebellion as a use of force? Well, despite the fact that Hitler tried his best, uh, oh, I mean, debated if he tried his best, but despite the fact that it failed, Hitler showed all of Germany, Hitler showed the world that the country is weak, that with enough force, it can be brought to its knees. And it showed just how brutal Ernest Rahm uses the SA. It shows how vicious and how ruthless the SA is because they were the main people fighting this. They were the main soldiers on the ground pushing people up. So despite it being a failure, despite it being so uh, Hitler becoming a laughingstock by the end of this, it's really foreshadowing. It's really projecting just how dangerous the Nazi and the Nazi party can be or will be. And it really shows a point of how far Hitler was going to, how far Hitler wanted to destroy the Weimar government, how much he wanted to take over Germany. And so this use of force sends a clear message out. And when we get to the propaganda of Mein Kampf, you're going to see how his jail time, we're going to see how this uh, very kind of intense event on top of the intense event of the Ruhr crisis, on top of the economic destruction of the country, shows that Hitler is just purely waiting for the right moment. And unfortunately, with the beer hall pushed, it wasn't the right moment. It was close, but it wasn't the right time for him to do this.